We're back again with another stimulus check update for you. And make sure that you watch this video all the way through, all the way to the end of the video. That way you don't miss out on a special bonus that I have in store for you at the end of the video. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video everywhere. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the big red button below and subscribe to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the next round of stimulus checks for individuals. Uh, we've got little bad news, but mostly good news for you uh, for our second stimulus check update for August 15th of 2020. And uh, basically, we're going to get into a little um, thing that's been going around a lot of YouTube all over YouTube and the media in the past couple of days is a statement that Trump had made on Twitter and also in a press conference also as well. And we're going to uh, pretty much hear this from Trump has said himself so we can hear exactly what Trump um, had to say in the press conference also as well. So that way we can get a little clarification about what he said about the good news about stimulus checks. So I'm um, going to uh, share my screen with you um, so that way you can we can get into this right now. Let's listen in. Uh, Mr. President, on the issue of uh, more money for the U.S. Postal Service and mail-in balloting, if the Democrats were to give you some of what you want, which you articulated in a series of tweets in the last hour, would you be willing to accept the $25 billion for the Postal Service, including the $3.5 billion to sure, the they give us what we want? And it's not what I want, it's what the American people want. So in addition to... And I just, I think, John, as part of your answer, I can read this. But in addition to uh, the executive orders that we signed, which are going to be doing terrific things in terms of uh, payroll tax cut, which is a lot of money coming to a lot of people very quickly, I've directed the Secretary of the Treasury to get ready and send direct payments, 3400 for a family of four to all Americans. Democrats are holding this up. I am ready to have uh, the UST and SBA send additional PPP payments to small businesses that have been hurt by the China virus. Democrats are holding this up. So we're talking about those are two things directly involved and really victim of the China virus. So. So basically, that's what Trump had to say. <laughs> basically, um, what happened was he did a press conference yesterday, but and he did another one today. But before the press conference yesterday, hours before it, he made a series of tweets. And one of his tweets on Twitter was this. Um, I have directed at Steven Mnuchin one to get ready to send direct payments, $3,400 for a family of four to all Americans, and Democrats are holding this up. And I also mentioned on one particular YouTuber's channel, um, he did not mention the word get ready, right? He just read it off as saying, I have directed Steven Mnuchin to send direct payments. And that's not uh, what Trump said, nor was it what Trump tweeted on Twitter also as well. So um, also, when a reporter had asked the president today in his press briefings why he has not met with top Democratic congressional leadership, he responded, when it's right, I'll meet. But right now, it's not right. Now, basically, does Trump have the power to send out stimulus checks to all of us? N no, I don't believe so. Um, the most he can try to do is he can try to find some money that has already been allocated out there uh, to send money to people. But I don't I still don't believe that there's enough money out there for him to find to send to people. OK, he cannot um, create new money. Congress has to create new money because, according to the Constitution, Congress has the power of the purse. Um, the only reason he 
was able to do the memoranda on the unemployment and be able to send out the $400 and weekly unemployment is because that money has already been allocated by the CARES Act and it is already in FEMA, okay? Uh, with the Disaster Relief Fund or the DRL, okay? Um, so I just wanted to clear that up a little. Um, now, today, a small group of members of the House's Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus spoke with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows about how to end this stalemate that they have right now, where both sides, the Republicans, the Democrats, and also the White House, they all want to pass a stimulus package. They all agree to send all of us uh, stimulus checks, okay, as long as you make under $99,000 a year for an, an individual, okay? But it's a stalemate because there are some issues that are not agreed upon, uh, including the price tag. So basically, the White House and the Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, um, they plan to continue further discussions uh, to also as well uh, with the House's Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus. So basically what they try to do is reach out to the White House and find out what's, you know, what's the problem here? Why is there a stalemate going on and what issues they need to resolve and work towards bringing all three sides out of the stalemate and back to the table to continue negotiations. And this Problem Solvers Caucus, as it's called, is made up of 24 Republicans and also 24 Democrats as well. Now, they told CNN, this is coming from a person that was on the phone call with Mark Meadows, White House Chief of Staff. We had a productive hour-long discussion about ways to help break the logjam between the parties, get negotiators back in the room, and help America in our response to the C-word sickness crisis, and we anticipate future meetings. Now, other members on this phone call were caucus co-chairs Tom Reed and Josh Gothheimer and representatives Dean Phillips, Abigail Spanberger, Jimmy Panetta, and Anthony Gonzalez. That was reported by CNN Politics. And according to PostJournal.com, um, U.S. Representative Tom Reed R. Corning called the Senate's decision to adjourn until September without brokering a relief package or a stimulus plan completely unacceptable during a visit to the James Prendergast Library this morning. Now, Reed, who represents New York's 23rd Congressional District, told the Post Journal that the stalemate in Washington is hurting Americans across multiple industries, explaining that during his car ride to Jamestown, he spent an hour on a conference call with White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, along with other colleagues in the Problem Solvers Caucus. Now, here's a statement that he made uh, to the Post Journal. One of the things we've done has reached out as these talks broke down is to send a message that many of us, both sides of the aisle, especially our Problem Solvers Caucus to the White House, that we wanna be helpful in helping the negotiators get back in the room. I appreciate Meadows convening that call for us and spending an hour's worth of time going through where the potential differences are. And really, there's a lot of common ground. Now, the problem in the nation's capital, Reed noted, is that no one trusts anybody we're in the Problem Solvers Caucus. We're wired to talk to each other. We're a group of members that listen to each other, respect each other, and at the end of the day, we want to put the country first. I appreciated the conversation. It was a candid conversation, and bottom line is, the message to our leadership is, on both sides of the aisle, is that if you're not willing to lead and do what's right for the American people, get out of the way, because there is a group of us that will. The caucus, he noticed, also has a good established relationship with Mark Meadows. 
the former representative from North Carolina's 11th Congressional District. So basically, that's some really good news, folks. Um, we heard it from President Donald Trump, and he wants more stimulus checks uh, sent out. And he also said in the press conference today that if the Democrats was to give him some of what he wanted, that he would pretty much give them, you know, the deal with the post office. OK, uh, but he also went on a rant about how, you know, mail in voting is fraud and and why he does not want why he believes the Democrats don't want to give the money to the post office where it should go. And he kept continually mentioning giving money to the people in today's press conference. He repeated that several times during the press conference, even when he was asked questions um, also as well. And when he was asked by a reporter why he was not present in these negotiation meetings and why he had Mark Meadows and Steve Mnuchin represent him instead of him being there himself, he did not uh, address that at all. He went off to talk about something else and completely changed the subject. So all is not lost, folks. I mean, I believe a stimulus check is coming. Stimulus checks are on the way. Okay. I, I still have the faith and I think you should still keep the faith also as well. Okay. <laughs> it's just because Congress is not in session does not mean that a deal cannot happen. Does not mean that agreement cannot be made. Okay. And um, if that comes to pass, then a bill can be presented and the senators, Congress will be called back to take a vote, okay, within a 24 hours notice because they are required to do so. But for right now, the House is not in session. They are on recess until September 14th, and the Senate is also in recess until September 8th. Okay, so that's all I got for you here. Remember to subscribe using the big red button below. Give this video a thumbs up so that way YouTube can promote it and we can put it in front of more people to watch it and make sure that you share this video everywhere and see the links below inside the description. Hit the down arrow here for free money and other helpful resources in the description also as well. And from all of us here at the How to Get an 800s Credit Score LLC family. Stay safe, be blessed, and we'll see you in tomorrow's stimulus check update video. Bye for now. My name is Lyndon Baptiste, and on this channel, we talk about ways to increase your credit score, build credit, and get approved for the lowest payments on mortgages and lines of credit, travel the world for free, uh, earn extra money with cash back, and if that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, that way you'll never miss a single video as we make